Good morning, friends. It is early. The birds are singing. The sunrise is glorious. And I'm so happy it's spring. It's been a little while since you and I have done any thrift shopping together, visited antique stores, or added any English country layers to our home. So I thought today would be the perfect time. As you and I have discussed many times in the comment box, to get that collected look, that curated over the years style, takes patience and clear direction. After remodeling the living room and dining room, they both have had time to settle and I'm ready for the next layer. As usual, I begin at the thrift store. You never know what kind of a windfall you might come across at a much better price than you will find at an antique store. Well, most of the time. I've really enjoyed this new little thrift store. It was located a couple blocks down the street. In relocating, they have improved the quality of their merchandise. Here you see they have quite a nice collection of blue and white, which is always on my shopping list. Speaking of a shopping list, I have a twofold method when I go shopping secondhand. I do have specific items that I know my house is calling for and that would mix well with what I already have, but I also have an open mind. There could be things that appear that I hadn't thought of adding and would be fun to add into the mix. Now this is for my personal shopping. If you're new to this channel, you may not realize that there is a Stone Cottage Home Etsy shop. In our shop, you will find many items similar to what I like to buy for my English country cottage style, including art, lighting, dishes, textiles, decor, and books. I'm excited to say that from our shopping trip today and several I've made over the last few months, the Etsy shop has a restock of beautiful items and I hope you find something that will layer in well for your home. Lovely vintage floral dishes like these may not be what you would choose to put on your everyday table, but they are lovely for creating vignettes on the wall. This cut glass salt shaker was gorgeous. And were there a pair and the tops weren't oxidized, those would have shown up in my Etsy shop. After a quick look through the frames at the thrift store, I was ready for some antiquing. Decades Revisited Vintage Mall has become my new all-time favorite antique store and many of my now favorite decor items have been purchased here over the last several months. This small copper pot immediately caught my eye and I got closer for a better look. The lid was stainless steel and heavy. The pot itself had solid brass handles that were soldered on and a maker's mark, William Sonoma, France. The bottom also was in good condition and it was lined with stainless steel. An excellent high quality pot. Just for fun, I'll let you in on a little game that Matt and I play, whether thrifting or antiquing. The first person to find this popular blue boy painting or print or portrait wins. Usually Matt is the first one to spot blue boy since I am so intently looking for decor. When shopping secondhand, you often come across unique pieces like this antique water cooler from Spain. I think this is just the coolest, it's gorgeous, and would make quite a statement piece in an English country kitchen. If this were operable and affordable, can you imagine what presence and style this would add? I love it. This lovely old watercolor is in keeping with the style I'm looking for in art, but not for $250. I will keep shopping. 
Here's a short clip from the Ancient of Days Antique Mall. They have a lot of art, and this castle watercolor caught my eye for $75. Much more affordable. Plus, they were running a 20% off, and I had a $25 gift certificate. That brought my total to $35. I've said it before and I'll say it again, have an abundance mindset when you're secondhand shopping. There will always be more. Plus, Rita Koenig says, buy well, buy slowly. Now let's get home and look through our treasures. And on to the haul. I'm very excited to share this collection of goodies with you. If you have books, you will need bookends. I found this beautiful hand-carved marble set of bookends at the thrift store. It was a little bit high in price for what I would expect from a thrift store, but they were exactly what I was looking for and probably would have been even more if I had paid the shipping from eBay or Etsy. Matt says they look like the knight from a chess set. I also came across this French blue egg vase with the gilded feet. It would be perfect for Easter or to decorate a room with dried flowers or even to put on your desk with your pens for writing thank you notes. On that same note for your desk, here's another cup that would be perfect for pens. It is Mason's Crabtree and Evelyn of London, Ironstone made in England and it has a lovely pastoral scene with apples, cottages, and a horse-drawn carriage. Not only could you use this for pins on a desk, you could even use it as a toothbrush and toothpaste holder. Whenever I'm thrifting, I always keep an eye out for good lighting, whether it be a wall sconce, a pendant, or a lamp. And this time around, I found two lamps. First, you will notice this one in the background. I thought it would be fun to try something with a different silhouette. And I really love the tall, elegant brass cutwork on this lamp. The other one I found was this simple candlestick lamp. I like the simplicity of it, the detail, this little bit of candlestick, and the shade I will probably pleat with some kind of cottagey floral fabric. As you all know, I love looking for art. It might be my favorite next to lamps or blue and white transfer wear or copper. <laughs> but anyway, I found three beautiful pieces this time around. First, I found this li lilac matted bunny print. I thought it would be perfect in time for Easter. I like the wider matting and the soft pewter silvery, silvery frame. The next one I found was this historical looking Civil War print. I really am not sure how old this is, but I not only love the colors, the framing, matting, the print, the subject, but I also love the orientation. This long landscape style is so easy to fit over doorways and into gallery walls, which I have another one coming up soon to share with you. And as you all know, I always save my favorite pieces for last. Out of the three art pieces I found this time, this one takes the cake. It is a stunning antique piece of art. You can tell that it's antique because the glass has a beautiful ripple to it when you look across. The Simply the color, the age of the print itself which I believe is a watercolor. It's hard to tell because it's very old. And then the frame with this patina and the way that it's constructed. Older frames are nailed together on the corners versus having a diagonal miter that's glued together. Anyhow, I absolutely love this piece and look forward to getting it hung somewhere special in our home you know from the one thrift store that we went to there was a whole table with blue and white transfer wear i always get excited when i see those and you can bet there were several pieces that i picked up first off i found a full-size dinner plate of the britain castles followed by a saucer 
The saucer, I think, was $1.50, and the plate was the same. The saucer does have a small chip, which doesn't concern me, and the dinner plate is in perfect condition. This next piece is unusual, and I've never seen one like it before. I spotted this large, slightly domed, blue and white transferware piece and wondered what exactly it was. On the back it says, the Spode Blue Room Collection, Continental Views, introduced 1844, made in England. And then I realized this was a great cover for your stove. And I thought, oh, that would be beautiful on our gas stove at home. And then as I was looking at it, I realized we have square burners, so this wasn't going to work. But I just had to figure some way to use this. And I realized I could use it as a hot plate for hot soups or things like that. I am currently using it as a tray on our dining room table. I also found a red and white piece of transferware from that same shop. This is also part of the Britain Castle collection. In addition to this, I found a salt and pepper shaker. I was so surprised to see these. They still have the stoppers in the bottom and are in perfect condition. These would be ideal for Christmas time, if you have red accents in your kitchen, or even 4th of July or Valentine's Day. Beautiful and classic. As usual, I've saved the best for last, even in the transferware section, and this is something I was extremely excited to find. I came across this online as I'm constantly searching for pitchers, teapots, platters, plates, all kinds of antique blue and white transferware. This one was a good price. I love the octagonal shape and the soft blues. Those are my favorite. This one was a good price because the original knob was missing. This one here has been handcrafted and hand painted and it does have a substantial crack on the bottom which means you can't actually use it for coffee or tea any kind of a beverage but if you stay tuned you will see how i can use this for more than just a beautiful decoration on a shelf then lastly i was gifted two beautiful needlepoint throw pillows from a dear viewer to this channel I love the lumbar shape on this one and of course the roses and this one is perfect in several places in our home because it's blue. It has a gorgeous blue velour backing, a lovely blue piping, and all of these soft muted colors. You know who you are and I just wanted to take an opportunity to say thank you. That ties up the sharing part of our thrift haul. If you are looking for items similar to these, be sure to check out the Stone Cottage Home Etsy shop, which I will link for you below. I have picked up several things in the last few months and have restocked our store. I hope you enjoy and happy shopping. Now to layer in some of our new secondhand treasures. When not being used as a vase for flowers, this antique transferware teapot perfectly covers the lamp cord and fills out the vignette on the island. A tiny transferware butter pat makes the perfect ring dish in the kitchen windowsill. After looking up these Italian carved marble horse head bookends online, I was shocked to see how expensive they were from Cherish and First Dibs. I am now quite pleased to have found this pair for $20. Let me encourage you friends, as you build different English country layers into your home, keep looking at inspiration pictures, not just on Instagram and Pinterest, but in books. There is something real and raw about looking at real homes where people live absorbing all of the details and seeing how they have combined their decor 
with utilitarian items. There is so much to learn from these photographs. Friend, I hope you've picked up some good ideas and good examples of things to look for and how to use them in your home as you are secondhand shopping, whether it's the thrift store, the antique store, or online places such as Marketplace. Happy shopping, happy decorating, happy homemaking, and until next time, take care.